حضرت الامام ولی اللہ رحمۃ اللہ علیہ یہ سید دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز کریٹڈ ہیومنس اینڈ ہیومن از اشرف المخلوقات و اکرمہ و لقد کرمنا بنی آدم و حملنا ہوں فی البر و البحر ایٹ انڈیڈ وی ہیو گیون کرامت عز اینڈ شرف ٹو دی آس پرنگز آف ایڈم و حملنا ہوں فی البر و البحر and we have made them ba'is or we have made them superior in bar and bahar it means that they have the talent to use and utilize the bar means the land which is opposite to bahar and ocean so some uh, all those things which are outside bahar to utilize is for their own good. وَحَمَلْنَا هُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحَرِ and also the ocean and the sea. وَرَزَقْنَا هُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ and we have provided them the طَيِّبَات and طَيِّب I do mention in tafsir that what is طَيِّب it has the two contents. Number one that that is lawful in the light of Quran and Sunnah. And number two, that is hygienic in the light of medical field or in the light of science. So sometimes something is lawful in Sharia, but that is not hygienic. So we can call it halal, but we, can call, we cannot call it tayyib. And sometimes something is hygienic medically, but Islam does not allow this. That is not lawful. So again, we can call it that that, that is hygienic, but that is not halal in Sharia. وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَثِيرٍ مِمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْزِيلًا And we have given them fazila, priority, or virtue, عَلَىٰ كَثِيرٍ On so many. And so many, it means they all of them because the ulama of ilmul aqaid and ilmul kalam they have two point of views majority of them they say that human are superior or they have virtue and fazila over all the creature of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a group of ulama they are of the view and more on most of the creature of Allah ala kathirin bin mar khalaqna but the, maja- the majority of ulama they say ala kathirin bin mar khalaqna mean e ala jullihim wa kullihim that's why the ulama of ilm al kalam they say wa ammatu al bashar afzal min ammatu al malak bainama khassatuhum afzal min khassatihim that human in general they are better than malaika in general and special people from amongst human they are better than special malaika like if somebody will ask you about jibril who is the chief of malaika the head of malaika his status in malaika is like the status of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Amongst the prophets are human in general. So then the aqeedah is that Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he is afzal and better than Archangel Jibreel. Because Jibreel, he was giving him the services. Wahi is also a service that he was bringing it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now, as you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he created the whole world. Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says, Imam Waliullah, that he created the whole world. When everything was established, means the manasa was ready, the stage was ready. So in the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created human. And that's what the science says as well. 
That's what the cosmology says as well, that this world, it was existing. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the human. And that's why Mr. Darwin, yes, he went to that point of irtiqa, or evolution, that actually the world God developed based on evolutionary steps. So what was there? He said that first of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and he created the earth. And then after that, the Al-Ajram Al-Falakiyya and the galaxies. <laughs> and after that, the plants and then the animals of different time are different types. But the animals, they were like this, that first of all, the worms were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether birds were the second stage or they it was in the same stage. So he says that different species, anyhow, he says that it was going on like this and the utmost evolutionary stage of that is the human. So according to him, yes, because if you will make a scientific research yes, regarding all the creature of Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we can say, Imam Wariullah rahmatullahi alayhi, he says that we can categorize it to Mawali di Salasa. He says, Murakabat, they are of two types Murakabi Tam and Murakabi Nakis, the perfect combination of the perfect compound and the imperfect compound. He said that the basic materials of all the creature are four in number the air, the water, the fire, and the dirt. So if two of them, because if you will think about everyone individually, so Imam said that on Sari Basit, that is not a combination. But if two of them will get together, so that is murakab, but not a perfect compound, imperfect compound, two or three. So anything which is a mixture or combination or a compound of two or three, so that is the category of murakab gheritam or imperfect compound. And if that is a combination of four, doesn't make difference what the ratio is. Because in certain creature, the dirt will be more than other three. In certain creature, the fire will be prevalent than other three. And same will be the case of air and the case of water as well. So Murakabitam, Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says that Mawalidi Salasa are three types of creature. These are the best example and misal of Murakabitam. So he says the Jamadat, and number two the Namiyat, and number three the Hewanat. So the Jamadat, he uses the word Maadiniyat, or the mines, and the Namaviyat. He means the plants and the trees. And number three, the hewanat, whatsoever has a life and intentional moment. Because hewan is that he has the life. And number two, he moves based on his intention. Now life, the plant and the tree, they do have it, but they cannot move. They do not have intention of movement from one place to another one. And as far as the case of Maadiniyat is concerned, so they do not have the life. So Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says, the Ma'adiniyat, that is combination of four. The Namaviyat is combination of four. And the Hewanat are combination of four. And then Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says that it goes like this. That perfect compound, the lowest compound in that is the Ma'adiniyat. A, a little bit more high, that is the Namaviyat or the Nabatat. And the highest one, that is the Hewanat and insan or human that is a type and no of hewanat but what is his superiority <laughs> and what is his preference and what is his fazila that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has given them the aql that aql is something which has differentiated or which has given priority to human to uh, over all the creatures but Darwin says that in physical world, the evolution took place like this. One was turning to the next one, to the next one, 
to the next one. So apparently, if you will study it, it is looking like that. But it doesn't mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned the ma'adiniyat to namaviyat or the namaviyat to hewanat or a hewan to human. But as I mentioned that they were based upon one another like this, so look like evolution. So if somebody will ask you evolution, so you can say that is and that is not. Yeah. That is and that is not. That is because that look like that. But that is not as the Darwin said. So as far as physical sciences is concerned, so he is almost okay. That was his approach. But as far as Deen is concerned and reality is concerned, so evolution is not like this. There is evolution to certain extent. But that is not like this. So it means that Allah created Madiniyat as is, as a special type. Namaviyat as is, a special type. And Hewanat as is, a special type. And then from amongst Hewanat, it doesn't mean that he turned the apes. What? The apes to human. That is not what um, uh, Darwin said. So anyhow, Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says, Based on aql, human has two things. Number one, in connection or in relation to the creature. And number two, in connection and relation to the creator. In connection to the creature, what is our relation to the whole world? To madaniyat or namaviyat, which is two types of perfect compound. Or what is our relation towards the imperfect compound? So Imam Rahmatullahi Alayhi says, that is a, that is the availing and getting services from these creatures. So the humans, they are receiving services from them. They utilize it. The human, they are using everything in the world of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in istatatum. And tanfuzu min aqtar samawat wal arz. And tanfuzu min aqtar samawat As we mentioned in Surah Rahman, that means is in the meaning of fi. Only one majaz in the ayah. So an tanfuzu and nufuz ar sirayatu fi dakhil shay That that is penetration inside the thing and aqtar is samawat. We mentioned there that geometrically that aqtar is the plural of qutr and qutr is actually the diameter of circle. The diameter circle. of circle. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the word aqtar plural. So Allah says if you can, if you can penetrate in the diameter of the heaven and the earth so I did mention there in Surah Ar-Rahman that implicitly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indicated towards that this world is in global shape. The heaven, they cover the earth, the earth in global shape. So what it covers, that is also in some, some this type of canopy. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the diameter because Qutr is for what? For daira and for circle, there is circumference, and number two, the, the diameter. So Allah says in istatatum and tanfuzu min aqtaris samawati wal arz. If you can penetrate in the diameter of the heavens and the earth for fuzu, just go ahead and do that. La tanfuzuna illa bi sultan. But you cannot do it, but if you have authority. So I did mention there in Surah Ar-Rahman that what that sultan and authority is, number one, knowledge, and number two, lab. What is that? Knowledge. Theory and number two? Lab. lab. So if you have the theory and you have the lab both, means science and technology. So you can penetrate. Those who have it, they are penetrating. Those who do not have it, they cannot penetrate. Fanfuzu, la tanfuzuna illa bi sultan. And as you know, that is our connection and relation to the creature. That we do utilize it to penetrate inside the diameter of the creature or the whole world and to you in connection or in relation to the creator. That is our other side. That is our, uh, this first one is our physical side. That other one is our spiritual side. So if, if a person or a group or let's say, may Allah forgive and forbid, that all the human, they are devoted on to, phys to, to, uh, to the physical side to the creature to utilize it. So even though physically that is a perfect compound, but practically he is not a perfect teacher then. Got it? And same is the case. If somebody is totally devoted to the other side, to creator, 
he is establishing his connection and relation but as far as utilizing the word and worldly thing so once again physically is a perfect compound but as a human he is not a perfect teacher and that's why we are making dua فمنهم من يقول ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة سي وقنا عذاب النار so why we are making that dua and Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi he is calling it أجمعوا الدعاء not جامعوا الدعاء أجمعوا الدعاء that that is the include the utmost inclusive dua because it includes both the worlds this world and the next world as well your connection or you have established your connection towards the creature means that you are using and utilizing it in a good way so it means you are making your life in this world and you have established your connection relation with Allah the creator by worshipping and obeying him so it means that you have made your akhirah and that's why you are making dua rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi akhirati hasana because if you have not established your worldly life by using and utilizing the creature. So here in this world, you will be utmost down and humiliated. And if you will not establish your relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your akhirah, so you will get punished on the day of judgment. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ فَمَا جَزَاءُ مَنْ يَفْعَلُ ذَلِكَ مِنْكُمْ إلا خزي في الحياة الدنيا ويوم القيامة يردون إلى أشد العذاب وما الله بغافل عما تعملون الله سبحانه وتعالى said if you are making pick and choose in the book of Allah سبحانه وتعالى that you are taking one side and you are not taking the other side so Allah سبحانه وتعالى says what will be the result خزي في الحياة الدنيا humiliation in this world you will be downtrodden وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ شَدِّ الْعَزَابِ And on the day of judgment, there will be a severe punishment, severe punishment. You have not established your worldly life, humiliation. You have not established your ukhrawi life, punishment. And azab. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to make a dua, رَبَّنَا أَحْسِنْ عَاقِبَتَنَا فِي الْأُمُورِ كُلِّهَا وَأَجِرْنَا مِنْ خِزْجُ الدُّنْيَا وَعَزَابِ الْآخِرَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the, ult the, the, the ultimate end of every affair of ours or every action of ours a best one. And Allah protect us from humiliation in this world and from azab in the, hereafter, in the hereafter. So these things are going like this. How you will get rid of these two things? Not to have humiliation and not to have punishment in the hereafter. So, for the set purpose, you are in need of guidance. The basic guidance that is given in shape of wahi. So, what the wahi said, as far as the akhirah is concerned, from A to Z, the wahi has given you the basic principles. And as far as the worldly attachment or worldly things are concerned, so in this regard, you have to use your haqal and your hawas, the two sources, but in the light of Quran and Sunnah. So, there may not be mis misuse and there may not be abuse so for this said purpose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in different time he is creating specific type of human they are called the mufhamun or mufahamun mufhamun or mufahamun there are mufhamun and mufahamun of a physical world and there are mufhamun or mufahamun or spiritual world according to imam rahmatullahi alayhi they are of nine categories Sometime later, inshallah, we will talk about that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasooli Muhammadin wa alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Rabbana asana akibatana fi lumuri kulliha wa ajirna min khizjul dunya wa azara.